Hello everyone, welcome to my second comic book review. And in this one, to celebrate it being number two comic book review, I have two comic books that I'm going to be reviewing, one of which is issue number two. This is Phoenix number two, and I went and I got this because... Uh, last time I was at the comic book store, I got Phoenix number one, and I liked it, so I got Phoenix number two. And we'll get to that one later. First, I want to talk about Venom War, issue number one. Now, this came out uh, beginning of August, I believe. It says in here, there's a checklist with all of the Venom War comics, and... Yep. Venom War 1 came out August 7th, and there is a bunch of different, there's Venom, uh, there's Venom, and so there's Venom War stuff in Venom, the Venom series, and there's also Venom War Carnage, Venom War Venom, Venom, Venomous, Zombie Oats, Venom War Spider-Man, and then this Wednesday, uh, Venom War Wolverine, so I, I might have to check that one out because... Uh, I like Wolverine. Um, but this is Venom War, and I went to the comic book store to get Phoenix number two, and I saw this, and I saw that it was number one of five, and I saw that it had a cool cover, and I thought, you know, I've never really read much uh, Venom stuff, so let's check that out. And this is actually kind of awesome, this comic book. Uh... It is picking up from some kind of storyline that I did not read, I believe. I think it might be King in Black, Venom King in Black. I know that is a comic book that uh, it's like last year, the year before, maybe this year, recently. And it kind of, you get a little summary, synopsis of all that, and well, I'm my take away from it the way I'm choosing to interpret the events prior to this comic book because I'm not going to go back and read all that right now. I'm going to maybe keep reading this and then I'll go back and read that later. Um, but this is what's going on right now. So I'm jumping on to this and checking it out. Uh, see how it See how it goes. But, uh, so, it seems that Eddie Brock has split up into different kind of symbiote creatures. Um, and then he's also just him. There's Eddie Brock, and he's, like, the leader. And there's these three other Venom symbiote-looking guys who are part of him. But they're outside of his body somehow. Somebody probably knows. You might know. You can let me know if you know. Or tell me tell me to go read Venom, King, and Black so that I, I can be less ignorant. But uh, also he has a son named Dylan. And Dylan has his own team of symbiote guys. And uh, both of them were fused together, symbiotic with Venom, Eddie Brock, obviously, and then also his son, Dylan Brock. But Venom doesn't want to be with them anymore because he blames himself for all the death and destruction caused while they were with Venom. And so he goes away, but they want him and uh, Spider-Man is in this too and also they're at this wrestling event wrestling match and so we get venom fighting a alligator guy pretty cool yeah um but there's a couple moments i really liked was when spider-man uh venom goes to spider-man peter parker's house or apartment wherever he's living now and 
hangs himself up in his closet and then Spider-Man accidentally puts on the black costume and he's like, ah, oh, no, now I got to deal with Venom. And uh, Venom, I, I think he's, I think he says, okay, don't freak out, which I thought was cute. And then there's some great art from the artist Ibon Coelho or Coelho. Um, Ibon Coelho. And uh, Venom is kind of draped over the back of a chair. And it's... I, I like how he's kind of drawn as alien goo, but also fabric. Because Venom is a costume, you know? And most of the time he's just drawn as being made out of this kind of goopy material. But... It would, it, it would make sense for him to be kind of, you know, fabric. Like, you know, see how, how like, this fabric... See how the fabric, like, when I do this, it, like, bunches up and and it folds and you get wrinkles and creases and... in fabric. I think it's cool that, that he kind of... He kind of draws venom um, draped over the back of that chair like that. And then there's... Uh, so Venom Horse is on the front cover, and there's also the last page is about Venom Horse seems to be breaking out of a lab. So that's awesome. That's cool. Venom Horse is in the new movie too. I, I, I that's the that's the only thing I remember from the trailer, the teaser trailer, is that Venom Horse is in that. I I, I don't know how how. Uh, prevalent venom horses in the comic books if there's more venom horse stuff i should check out let me know but i think that's cool you know it's an interesting idea and then we've also got phoenix number two um i don't have as much to say about this but phoenix um because i'm i'm reading trying to read you know uh, all the x-men stuff coming out now because they 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 uh, started you know, new Uncanny X-Men series, new X-Men, uh, X-Force I haven't read. X-Factor was pretty good. I really liked the first issue of X-Factor. I did a review on Exceptional X-Men. That was good. Or, um, is there an, an Astonishing X-Men? I, I don't think so. There's NYX, which I have not read, but that is X-23, um, and some other characters in New York. That's where they got NYX from. That's cool. Uh, I haven't read that. I might read it. I know that they have another X-23, or it's it's called Laura Kinney Wolverine, but I'm, I'm still going to say X-23 just because that's, I feel, an easier way to refer to the character. Like, I wouldn't call her X-23 to her face, but uh, I'm not going to say Wolverine because then I have to clarify. And also, just just saying Laura, just saying her first name is kind of, it's like, you know, I don't even, I, I don't even like doing that if I'm talking about, like, like I'm not going to call Batman Bruce, you know? I'm not going to say, like, oh, and then Bruce to this. You know, I might say, oh, Bruce Wayne does this or you know peter parker does this um if it's you know they're doing it doing something a a as themselves or alter ego not as a superhero um but that you know because then if batman does something i say batman if spider-man does something i say spider-man but with x-23 it's like well her superhero name is wolverine right or uh she changed she's like talon or something is that still... I th I, th I think it went back to, to Jesus Wolverine. I, I don't know, man. But uh, I might check that one out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. But this was good. This is uh, Phoenix in space. And she's with Corsair. Cyclops' is dad. And... The last issue was um, she saves a planet, some aliens on it. Um, 
yeah i really don't have that much to say about this one i just thought it was cool because it's in space you know all the other x-men comic books are on the planet earth right now so it's kind of we got some variety where it's still you know she 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 talks to, to cyclops in this jean gray the phoenix she talks to cyclops telepathically so it's still this series is still connected to the other x-men series but it's also in space and uh seems that thanos is involved somehow but i think that might have that might have been a twist so i'll just put spoilers in the title of this video so just in case yeah the black order of thanos i think is that what it is yeah i don't know um you'll you'll find that there's a lot of things about comic books that i don't know and i'll tell you when there's stuff i don't know and if you do know any stuff that i don't know and you want to let me know that'd be cool too because i'm not i'm not like an expert on any of this stuff this is really i'm, I'm really kind of just for like the first time starting to get into following you know new issues as they come out because i was all i i i always i always just read old old comic books as a kid you know stuff from mostly like stuff from the 80s um but now that i have a job and uh i'm a grown-up and i have money and i can do whatever i want with it i i can buy comic books and i can find out what's what's going on and it's so, it's so much fun too, you know, getting to check out the new issues. Um, it's, uh, it's really great. It's really awesome. I really recommend it. If you can, if you can do it, just, 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 just one comic book. Just, just go, just go get one comic book. Just jump on and see if you like it, you know, cause you probably, you, you, everybody's got a favorite superhero. They're always making they're always making crap. So go go to the comic book store and, and go buy that go buy that crap. That's all it is, it's just a bunch of crap. Comic books suck, dude. I I don't know. This is a mistake. I thought maybe I thought maybe because like people are into it, people might might watch these and like maybe I could make like make money off of it somehow, but it's just it's 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 so difficult to get through these things because it's just it's just nonsense superheroes it's like well, are we eight years old what are we doing here nah i'm just kidding though i love comic books i love superheroes yeah they're they're so awesome i, I, I was actually thinking about Maybe making like a career change, kind of. Um, seeing about like going into the superhero industry, business. Um, just like becoming a superhero. I was thinking about doing that. Um, and, uh, my superhero name, um, Understander, or The Understander, The Compassionate Understander, and my superpower is, is basically just gonna be like, like empathy, compassion, understanding, that, you know, that's why it's Understander, and kind of like, if there's like a disagreement or something, I kind of, I show up and I help uh, the people to understand each other. And then like my main, my whole goal would be to kind of make the whole world, everybody understand each other. But I just don't know how to, 
because I would need to be making money doing it because you know I can't I can't do that for free like I got I, it, it's just so it's just so much stuff like I don't even want to I don't even really want to talk about it but it's just I just feel like if everyone, if everyone could, if everyone just put in the effort to try and understand the people around them, like the world, the world would obviously, it would be a better place, you know? Because it's, 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 it's really, it's really easy to do if you care to do it. And there's just a lack of care in the world. Nobody really... Nobody really, nobody really cares about other people, about the about the world around them, about animals.